This video will demonstrate how to use a universal test database to test the universal relay. This universal test database means it can be used to test any version of the UR relays. And this is achieved by a superset Madbus settings under the address folder of AVTS. To run this database, first we need to read the relay order code. So enter the IP address of the relay under Madbus folder and run read relay order code. So this test will read really order code, firmware version, and compiled date. So we can see it's a URG60 and firmware version 6.02. And this 6.02 will be used as a reference number to read its Madbus settings. So now run read all Madbus addresses. So this test will read UR602 Modbus settings and populate settings into the address folder. And then use this Modbus settings in the following automation test. While the test is running, we can see the progress is updating at the bottom of the software. So we'll do the same thing for read offset values and read flex operands. Offset values is used to determine the offset of the multiple levels of the protection element. For example, the face ILC1, ILC2, face TOC1, TOC2. And for the flex operand, which is the operand used to assign to a protection element. For example, face ILC1 pickup or operate. So once all these three tests are done, we can run the next test is read contact status. Read contact status is going to read the contact one original status. Because during the automation test, contact one may be temporarily changed into a different protection element being tested. So we want to keep its original status and restore that setting at the end of the automation test. So for this relay, its original status for output one is virtual output one. So this setting is now saved in AVTS and will be restored at the end of the test. Now, next, I'm going to update system settings. This update system setting test will get the face, primary, secondary CT, and the ground primary, secondary CT readings, as well as the face, auxiliary, VT settings. And these settings will be used in the following automation test. And next, I'm going to run a face IOC pickup test. So first, I'm going to read the setting of the is face ILC. So this is the IOC1 enabled and pickup settings 1PU block set to virtual input 1. Now I'm going to run the pickup test. So first test is on phase A and the current is injected to the relay and starting from 95% of the pickup. The increment is 1 milliamp for this test.
So we hear the really operated and the pickup is 1.001 for this one PU of one amp CT. Now the test is running for the dropout. Okay, so phase A is down. Now it's testing the phase B. So we see the result of the phase A is populated in the report. So the phase B test is done also. So now all three tests are done, I'm going to manually stop the test and I'm going to generate a report for this uh, test. Okay, so that's the report for this UR relay. Autocode, contact status, system settings, IOC settings, and IOC results. So that's a Word file can be saved under my document. And in the real automation test, all these tests under the, from the pretest to the different element can be saved into one group, for example, group A. So once you define a sequence and all these previous tests can be run automatically from A1 to the last test. So that is just one click and the test, this universal test database will test any version of the UR relay. That concludes this demo of this test.